Hello and welcome to our 8th Monarch's Journey character. This time we are playing as Sultana Arwa of the Sulayhet Sultanate aka Yemen. Our tasks are to rule for 100 years over all of Yemen. It's going to be a little bit of a challenge as currently the Seljuks rule over two of the counties we need. We also need to have 12 temples and we need to convert 6 people to Shia Islam. Getting 12 temples should be relatively easy, as we can simply conquer once over in East Africa, and converting 6 people to Islam is not going to be as hard as it might look. It says Hindus, but any non-Shia Muslims count. So um, we'll just start off with immediately finding people who are not of our religion, who are greedy, and are willing to join us. Because uh, being greedy means they'll get a lot more opinion from us giving them gifts. And that way we can immediately convert them. Aside from inviting people, we of course want to make sure everything is set up. Let's go with a business focus to get some money. And uh, let's build a war chest. Our husband is incapable and of our dynasty. The fact that he's incapable doesn't matter too much as we wouldn't really want to marry another husband if he were non-existent anyway because well we cannot have matrilineal marriages as a Shia Muslim so we'll just uh, have this husband and our two sons for our close relatives next let's take a look at the council we'll want to make sure they are actually doing things make sure to get some technology and do we need to convert things we do need to convert some things minor titles of course the important ones and we'll set a crown focus uh, as a Muslim we of course want to go on a Hajj to Mecca and let's also just join a society while we are at it now, we do want to at some point take Aden and Baida as they are in our capital duchy. However, currently we do not have enough money to uh, create that duchy, which means we cannot plot to revoke quite yet. Um, well, I think that's everything we need to do before starting any wars. So let's quickly move on to starting wars. And we're just going to go ahead and uh, take East Africa. Uh, and build up our power over here instead of uh, going for the larger threats of Hashemit Atef and the Seljuks because uh, we have 3.75k Hashemites have slightly more than that we do not have a border with the people in Atef and we definitely cannot take on the Seljuks with our 3.75k however once we have conquered most of East Africa we should be able to uh, handle the Hashemites, and then we should be able to handle Atef if they are still independent. And hopefully by that point we can also defeat the Seljuks. And of course at some point we'll also need to take Sokotra. Um, let's check our courts to find these people who just joined and start giving them gifts. And uh, then we can demand their conversion once they have received their gifts. Once we have given them all their gifts, we can uh, see their progress. Why can we not give her a gift? We do not have enough money to give a gift. Well, that's a thing. I will just uh, wait until we have enough money. Of course, we do need to have the game actually running for that. And come on, give us that gold. And there we go. Uh, send gift. Demand conversion. And that already puts you at five people converted so then we just need one more and you're already done with that right so we have managed to conquer a significant chunk of east africa we are uh, leaving mercuria alone as they are a tributary of the fatimids and we don't want to get into uh, any conflicts with them also one of our vessels has been uh, a productive little fella and he got himself a claim on the hashmid in some way and we are pressing that and uh, well apparently uh, they're waiting to surrender so that way we get all of this 
and now we have all the temples we need now we do still need to convert another person to Shia Islam so let's see if we can find someone over here and also let's make sure to uh, study some technology and then we will have all of um, the people converted that we need to have converted there we go so now we're left with 100 years ruling over all of Yemen as mentioned most of that is well two counties are held by the Seljuks and there's the one the county of Socotra that we need now we can go for Socotra that should not be an issue but taking over the Seljuks is going to be a little bit more problematic so we are just going to continue amassing our power until uh, we can actually match the subjects right now they're about three times as strong as we are perhaps an alliance with the fast meets at some point will be possible and then combined with their 14k we should be able to beat the subjects especially given the fact that they do have to travel through some desert to get to the place that we are going to claim which hopefully means that they'll uh, have smaller armies due to attrition by the time they arrive and we only need to hold these two and not actually go to them so we should be fine so a little unfortunate thing happened while we took Socotra um, our uh, buddies up in the north declared war on us the Fatimids are trying to get Arabia so the good news is that Arabia is not actually what we need to uh, accomplish our challenge the bad news is that this is not fun at all and uh, they have a much larger army than us so fortunately because we have Socotra we now have a second trade post so we are making a decent amount of money and hopefully we can uh, use that to hire some mercenaries defend in these mountains over here and maybe just maybe defeat the Fatimid armies but uh, we'll see how that goes we do want to wait a bit before hiring those mercenaries because well we don't have that much spare income and uh, it would be quite bad to run out of money before we actually have the opportunity to defeat our armies although they do seem to be distracted by something right now so maybe we can just take out a few of their armies any damage we can do to their troops would be very good so uh, let's give it a try and hopefully their main army won't suddenly appear again we should probably have our uh, spy master sit somewhere more strategic for the purposes of this war so let's move him over there and uh, well it does appear that uh, this particular battle is going to go our way so we'll just uh, free these holdings and uh, then we'll flee back to our own land well I mean this is also our own land but it's not exactly safe we'll flee back to Yemen and uh, yeah there we already have the enemy armies here lowering our domain troops as they cost money and uh, we don't really have any money to spare if we need to hire mercenaries so we'll just let them siege our stuff again and sit in the mountains waiting for them to come to us unfortunately it doesn't appear that they are particularly willing to uh, go to us so we're going to try to fight them of course we're not attacking them in a mountain that'd be dumb we are going to try to fight them in the desert after we uh, hired these guys and uh, well looks like we won so that's good we'll still need to uh, actually defeat their armies several times and of course liberate the holdings that they took from us but the fact that we managed to beat them at least once is a very good sign that we'll probably be able to beat them multiple times we to just make sure to keep crushing their armies at every opportunity so we'll make sure to intercept those guys 
with the mercenaries that we hired and our normal troops will go and liberate Medina and let's just go with the cheapest option since we can't really afford to uh, spend more gold right now of course we do still have the option to borrow gold from the uh, Jewish merchants if we do end up needing that and oh dear it looks like uh, I may have sent our troops into the enemy can we get there in time probably not oh dear so uh, I foolishly um, ended up having my troops walk into Medina while their troops were there and uh, yeah that's a mountain territory so that didn't go so well but yeah, at least we managed to push them out of Mecca so we can still liberate Medina and uh, we still hopefully have positive fail score well zero percent that's that's something anyway we'll just liberate Medina and uh, let's see if we can catch some of those troops there we did so we'll just keep trying to uh, defeat their armies where possible and hopefully not uh, run into uh, any mountains again without a significant numerical advantage anyway but still so far we, we have one war score sort of from battles so I'd say we're doing all right we also control all of Arabia and uh, we are actually making money now because we lost so many troops um, so that's good I guess anyway we'll just continue fighting and hopefully win this war well I noticed some uh, lines here and uh, it seems we have some good news for ourselves the uh, Caliph is defending against one of the Seljuk vessels so hopefully uh, they'll keep the Fatmis distracted of course in the long run this might be bad for us as uh, that does mean the Seljuks are going to have control over even more land but at least it'll uh, help us in this particular war and we can always worry about the Seljuks later well we got a bit of a lucky break here um, in theory we could end the war here but as we already have quite a lot of progress from just controlling Arabia and uh, well their armies are quite diminished I think what we're going to do is we're going to ransom him for the gold and well I guess we'll also ransom David and I for the gold and we're just going to keep defending until we have 100% war score through uh, normal means so that we can then immediately turn around and attack the Seljuks as they currently have a revolt and well hopefully that'll distract them and if we hire like two extra mercenary bands I think we can defeat them and uh, then we can actually just uh, get to the point where we just need to wait and uh, hold on to Yemen to get the final challenge done so that'll be our plan for now we're just going to get our 100% war score and uh, immediately continue on with the Seljuks how lovely some more gold this is all quite helpful for our future war right well it looks like we uh, have practically won this so we'll just go ahead lower our levies start sending the mercenaries over to the other side of the our realm and we have our 100% war score and that's some nice extra gold from that so now we will declare war on this fella and what do we actually need the duchy of Hadramut so let's find the holy wars there we go and uh, declare that holy war for Hadramut and have everyone go over there and we probably want to uh, figure out where they have their troops so that we can see how many they currently have at the same time they are running around with an army of uh, 10k and one of about 6k so we'll want to make sure that we can at least defeat the 10k shoot the shop and uh, we'll wait a bit with hiring more mercenaries until they show up with all of the troops simultaneously because we don't want to waste that gold too quickly as we are burning through it pretty rapidly at this point with all of these mercenaries we've got hired anyway let's hope this holy war works out and uh, if we can actually control all of Yemen that'd be great 
All right, so we have almost finished occupying the duchy we are holy barring, but uh, the Celtic troops are also on their way to us. We have a mountain here. Um, we do seem to be rather heavily outnumbered though, so I believe we'll be better off just hiring another mercenary band and uh, sending them over to Dofar. And uh, I think we'll just rally all of our troops over there and then uh, we will hopefully manage to defeat the Celtic armies in this county. If we manage to defeat them, then we'll probably win the war. If they defeat us, then we probably have a big problem. So uh, yeah, let's, let's hope we actually win. And well, it would appear that they actually turned around. So we'll just continue occupying their stuff and uh, head over there see do they keep going north they do keep going north well, that's interesting do they have any other wars they do have an uprising going on so that's probably why well, that is quite fortunate let's make sure to benefit from that by taking control over these mountains here so that if the uh, Seljuks appear again they'll have to fight us in the mountains and in the meantime we get more war score any other mountains there fortunately aren't more mountains further to the north so this is going to be our best county for fighting them in all right and with that battle won we have our 100 percent war score so nice um let's uh get rid of uh well all of this i guess and um let's make sure we are no longer over our domain limit Let's just find ourselves someone, some random person. Hello there, you are a possessed lunatic, you say? You're also a sheik. Now, okay, so, well, we now have all of Yemen. So, and now this will start counting up with each year. And as long as we don't lose our stuff, we're pretty much set to have uh, this monarch's journey done. So we are now six years into having all of Yemen. Unfortunately, our neighbors to the north, the Fatimids, are once again attacking us because they just can't like take back their land from the Seljuks or fight the Byzantines. No, they have to fight their fellow Shia leaders and uh, be jerks. So. We're just going to have to hire a bunch of mercenaries again. Unfortunately, right now, we don't really have the money for that. So we're just going to let them do their thing for a little while. And, oh, jeez. We just made this magnum opus. But, well, we, we can't really afford to uh, spend 750 gold. So we also lost our magnum opus. Things aren't exactly going great, but at least this war is just over Nubia and uh, won't actually affect whether we hold all of Yemen. Still quite a bit annoying and uh, we don't even have enough money to do anything about it for now. Well, technically we could take money from the Jews, take out a loan, but I'd like to try to avoid that if we can manage to just fight them off with our own money and our own troops. So we'll uh, let things run for a little bit, see how things go and uh, hopefully amass enough wealth to win this war. And let's also uh, raise the troops again now that we have. Let them replenish, replenish a little bit. Can maybe take out this smaller army or beat Axum, which we are also at war with currently. We'll see how everything goes. Okay, so we have managed to beat Axum and we have also passed away. So we are now playing as one of the sons of their previous character. And um, now we just need to beat the Fatimids. Currently we are not doing so well. I have hired a bunch of mercenaries. So hopefully that'll help. We're going to take the mountains as usual and uh, hopefully they will choose to either attack us there or uh, let us take out their smaller army i don't think we'll be able to take them though because uh, they seem to be rallying up with 
be a larger army. So we'll probably just be stuck sitting in the mountains hoping for them to come to us. But still, it is a plan and having a plan is always something. I'll just make sure it's actually ours, so our troops uh, are reinforcing there. And oh look, they are actually leaving. So let's take the other mountains and uh, hopefully we can uh, at least keep the mountains ours. And uh, if we're really lucky, they'll actually send those troops back home to do something about uh, the Seljuk war they are uh, currently involved in. I really question the sanity of this caliph attacking their fellow Shia instead of focusing on the Seljuks, which keep taking their stuff. But hey, it is what it is. So uh, we'll just try to make sure that our troops are in the nearest mountains to where their troops are and uh, yeah we'll see how this goes actually considering we have a numerical advantage at this point we can probably just station them in the desert we'll also make it a bit more likely that they'll actually attack us and if they go to some place where uh, we won't suffer from a uh, river penalty when we attack them we can give that a try now getting some extra gold is very tempting, but I think that if we uh, manage to attack them, we'll uh, get our balance back to around zero, and uh, hopefully we don't need the extra gold, and then we won't have to deal with having arbitrary. So let's just send the marshal to hunt these uh, raiders down. Now this is a uh, fun one. Let's see what our current central leader has. He does not have the direct leader, so we'll just um, make ourselves the direct uh, or the central flank leader with that bonus. And then have uh, other people on the sides. Apparently our marshal uh, isn't interested in uh, doing his job. That's a bit unfortunate. Our uh, army is quite small at this point. Still, i rather see them go to Kassala, as uh, there we don't have to cross a river to fight them. They are locked in movement, so let's go and crush their armies, hopefully. And that flank isn't doing too great. Oh, we still won it. Perfect, we have won this battle. And with that we can start liberating all of the occupied counties and our balance is fairly close to zero so we should be all right with regards to money while we liberate our holdings we can split the army into two make sure that uh, we are freeing as much at the same time as possible and let's also make sure that we have a uh, actual marshal again as well with that battle one i think uh, especially given that they're involved in a war with the Seljuks, we have once again won a war against the Fatimids. Ah yes, just what we needed, more wars. Fortunately, this uh, enemy does have a smaller army than we do. They probably just uh, figured that since we're involved in a war with the Fatimids, they could go ahead and take our stuff. Let's uh, just make sure to finish our war with the Fatimids and then if we don't have any Fatimids to worry about, we shouldn't have an issue defeating them as well. Unless, of course, we just keep getting more and more revolts. But hey, we'll uh, just deal with those as well. We can probably crush them quickly and then head back to fending off the Fatimids. As soon as we have liberated all of our holdings, of course, so that we get that ticking war score. Ah, well... Uh, we've almost won the war with the Fatimids, we're at 96% war score and their troops are nowhere to be found, so, uh, well, the ticking war score will probably get us to where we need to be. And, of course, our brother is now plotting to take our land. Um, let's get our troops over to the Arabian side of the Red Sea, and then uh, we'll hopefully uh, be able to defeat these troops. He suddenly has a lot more troops than before. Looks like he hired some. Still, we have our mountains here, so we should be fine. They'll lose some troops actually taking stuff and uh, either they'll attack us and they'll die that way or they'll lose so many troops from sieging stuff that we can just crush them eventually. 
And apparently uh, this character here joined the assassins while he was uh, outside of uh, my realm, I suppose. So we are a part of the assassins now, and I am fine with that. Well, we have won our war with Fabmeet. At least that gives us a decent sum of money, so we can uh, invest that into further improving our troops and our income. I don't know if we can actually improve our income anywhere, but uh, at the very least we'll have more troops. I guess we can improve our income by building a little city. And we'll just uh, sit here and wait for a bit while they siege. And uh, I think we'll uh, just let them siege down until they get to the castle. And then uh, we should have enough of an advantage in troop counts that we can defeat their army. And it looks like we are winning. So, well, that's uh, another battle won for Yemen. And with that, another war won because, uh, well, they weren't stronger than us in the first place and now they lost most of their troops. I don't think they're going to hire more mercenaries, so we should be perfectly fine. Well, 100% war score has been reached, so let's enforce our demands. And we're not going to lower our mercenaries quite yet because, uh, well, we've got our brother incoming next month, so we'll want to make sure that uh, we can crush him as soon as possible. Let's see where he spawns. All the way over in Africa, so it'll be a while before he shows up. Um, he only has 3k troops, so we can probably just do some other things with these mercenaries while waiting for him to show his face so let's see who we have a truce with can we attack axum we cannot we have a truce with him let's uh get rid of the other muslims down in the south and uh we'll eventually consolidate all of africa so that hopefully we'll be powerful enough that uh, the fatimids stop trying to take our stuff and maybe they'll actually uh, consider going for the Seljuks at some point. And maybe by the time we have beaten these two, our brother will have shown up and we can uh, beat him up as well. And perhaps at that point we'll finally have peace in Yemen. <laughs> well, we already won one war and our brother is finally showing up. Now... We do have the Become Exalted Among Men ambition, so let's uh, go with the option that could give us Proud. We didn't get Proud, well, let's sign peace with them, and uh, then we can turn our troops back to the west. So we'll uh, be able to deal with these raiders before we end up in a fight with our brother. Looks like we can, as our brother seems to be going all the way to the south. Doesn't really matter where he wishes to go. Alright, we sh probably should make sure to have some vessels as we are significantly over our domain limit right now. And uh, as the disease has gone away, let's also open the gates. With that done, let's uh, get rid of our brother. And our brother died of the Great Pox. Well, that's one way to end the war. Let's go on the Hajj to Mecca. Should be easy enough since we control it. And since we still have these troops raised anyway, we might as well go and uh, take out Alodia and Senar and just uh, try to get as much of Nubia as possible. I don't think we'll take the stuff that the Fatimids have, but we'll try to take the rest. Taking the stuff from the Fatimids would be a bother since they do have quite a lot of troops. And why bother fighting them if we can just sit on what we have until we have our 100 years of uh, ruling over Yemen done. Okay, so uh, we currently have a truce with Axum, so we can't really do anything against them. And uh, it seems that there is a crusade against the Fatimids. And I think we just aren't able to help them because... They've been little jerks to us, so we're just going to sit here and feel good about ourselves in the land that we have. And perhaps after they uh, lose their crusade, we'll uh, take what remains of Nubia from them. And uh, we'll have nice looking borders. 
spy master is apparently up to things let's just threaten him and uh, let's see how the Celtics are doing they have a much larger army than us so we are not going to bother with doing anything apparently our wife was murdered we still have four oh that's not us okay let's uh find ourselves a new wife then ah she was murdered by one of our uh, those were wives well I don't really care that much let's uh, create a vessel here to make sure that we are on our domain limit and apparently we got pneumonia let's hope we don't die from that that would be unfortunate but yeah this is uh, our Yemen we still need to rule for 86 more years during that time we'll probably take Axum and uh, the rest of Nubia but uh, I don't think we'll be doing much more expanding beyond that. We'll just uh, build up our domain and be as powerful as possible in what we have to make sure that we don't actually lose Yemen. Okay, so the crusade is still happily underway. It's 65% in favor of the Pope. And in the meantime, we have uh, taken Axum. So we'll just go ahead and start revoking their titles because, well, we can because we have a uh, religious title revocation as one of our laws so uh, let's make sure to uh, revoke this guy's title as well and we'll uh, just have to crush this little revolt and we'll uh, give that land to some actual Muslim ruler so that uh, we don't get any revolts at inopportune times and hopefully soon when uh, the crusade succeeds we'll be able to take Nobatia to uh, complete our collection of Nubian duchies also we are uh, building a tower in the meantime because why not well here's a reason why we shouldn't we are massively in debt but yeah now gotta build that tower towers are cool Let's uh, go ahead and revoke all the titles and let's get rid of our levies and uh, find some nice people to give the land to. Do we have any uh, kinsmen might feel inclined to hand over land to? I think this guy could uh, do with some land. Let's give him a nice duchy. Samian, sure, go ahead. And of course we can't actually create any new duchies because uh, we're kind of out of money. So I uh, guess uh, our new vessels will just have to accomplish that for themselves. Oh, this guy is a Muslim or a Sunni Muslim. Um, I don't think I'll give land to our other relatives. We'll just uh, go ahead and create some vessel out of a unlanded... Uh, person and oh, we are actually already below our domain size so I guess we can stop handing out things again do we have any duchy title we can hand off no we do not so we're uh, stuck with uh, a little bit of a vessel limit problem but we should be fine anyway it's only one over the vessel limit um, so yeah we'll just wait until the Fatimids have uh, lost their crusade oh that won't be taking too much longer at this point and then uh, once they have we'll uh, not declare any wars because we are out of money but once we have money again we'll try to take Nobatia and uh, in the meantime I guess we'll be dealing with this little revolt so as expected Egypt has been lost to the crusaders there's now a Khan of Egypt that's interesting um, so we're going to go ahead and take Nobatia from the Caliph because I don't like him so let's get our troops over to Nobatia and uh, let's take that and then uh, we'll have all of the Jure, Nubia, Abyssinia and Yemen of course I created the Kingdom of Nubia now the Sultanate of Nubia in order to uh, actually be able to press a de jure claim on the entire duchy at once and uh, we also created a couple of extra dukes so we're no longer suffering from being over our vessel limit and uh, hopefully by the time we have this nobody's going to attack us 
does look like Egypt is a little bit stronger than us and of course the Seljuks are stronger than us still as well but we should be powerful enough that uh, it'll be more tempting for them to attack other countries than us the Fatimids, uh, they did get out of their other war, they were in another war so they probably wouldn't have even come to try to save these provinces if that war had continued but I guess we will see their armies show up at some point all 3000 of them it really should not be much of a concern oh and there they are already let's uh, make sure to actually defeat them oh dear well anyway we have won uh, the battle even if our uh, army that was already there did suffer defeat and now uh, their troops will have to go back to wherever the heck they came from and we won a battle and with that we reached 100% war score so there we go we have our Dujir claim pressed apparently there is uh, one wrong religion vessel here so we'll just uh, go ahead and revoke their title place somebody of our culture there and religion of course and uh, we'll just uh, let the duke that is already in place have his de jure vessels and it would appear that we have gone over our domain limit at some point so or rather our domain limit has gone down so I think we'll we'll go ahead and hand off Maha to a uh, vessel as well and then we'll make that vessel a vessel of our duke over here and uh, this is our gorgeous uh, sultanet that will hopefully last for uh, 77 more years certainly looks like uh, the Holy Wars haven't stopped. There was a Children's Crusade for Jerusalem, which failed, and now there is a Sunni Jihad for Egypt, which uh, will probably succeed as the Sunnis are in quite a bit of a better spot than the Shia, where, especially with the whole uh, me being cranky at the Fatimids thing, so I'm guessing we'll probably see Seljuks. Uh, on both sides to our north with just a little bit of Fatimid in between. Let's hope they uh, don't turn towards us afterwards. Aside from that we uh, have gone to a new character again who appears to be getting sick right now and he has already gotten himself a son so the line will go on either way. It's a dangerous faction but we're not going to try to imprison anyone right now as we do have to see the realm prosper ambition and uh, if uh, they rise up then that means our ambition is uh, a failure oh well speaking of sons looks like our son just died so that's a little bit unfortunate there um, anyway uh, as for our own realm there have been a few peasant and religious uprisings but uh, for the most part we have been extraordinarily peaceful so Let's just get ourselves a new ambition. Building a war chest shouldn't take very long as we're already almost at the 700 gold needed. And uh, I think after we have built that war chest we will go for becoming pious unless we just became ineligible with that extra piety. We probably became ineligible. Let's see what we can do. No, we can still become a paragon of virtue so we'll go for that. I don't know whether we'll actually reach 2000 piety but we will see. And uh, oh, we should probably do something about this whole uh, faction thing as there is 153%. So uh, let's see, we have as people in the faction the uh, person over here in Akrodot. Maybe we can make him a vessel of someone else. Let's see, Sheik of Aksum, are you in any faction? Is it safe to give you land? Seems to be safe to give him something. And we'll just uh, get rid of one rebelling uh, or wannabe rebelling person that way. We also have the Sheik of Kasala. So I guess we'll just uh, give Blamia to this good sir. And we still have 130% uh, 
power over here. Let's see if any of them is plotting anything. They are not. So um, I think we'll try to make this good man like us. If he is over 80 opinion of us, he should in theory leave. Well, apparently we can't quite get it to 80. And uh, well, either way we have a good income so we should be able to just throw mercenaries at the problem. Uh, should they actually try to uh, do anything? So I am sure we will be fine. Well, um, something went wrong and the last nine recordings didn't work, so uh, I'll just go over what happened in the meantime. First of all, the Sunni Jihad for Egypt failed because there was a Shia Jihad as well and that put Sultana Zara on the throne of Egypt. Now, as a female ruler, the uh, dynasty of course changed with her death and uh, after one Bedouin ruler of House Kirdar, we had a Coptic ruler and it uh, stayed Coptic afterwards. Aside from Egypt, they also managed to get Normandy through that uh, Jihad and uh, they actually got a little bit of Brittany before England pushed them out of Brittany and uh, I think they got Normandy as well in the first place but it seems uh, it's now a part of France. There was also a Jihad for Sicily which succeeded and uh, we participated in both of these to get the Mujahid trade but as you can see Sicily is no longer uh, Muslim it has turned to the Catholics T to the east the Seljuks are a big mess that's because one ruler decided orthodoxy was a great religion to follow and uh, gavel kind happens and now there are three different Muslim Seljuk kingdoms first of all of course the big one the Persian kingdom of the Seljuks, then there's the Anatolian branch, and right now there is a Khorasan Seljuk kingdom, although they initially held Arabia as their primary title, but they have lost that to the other Seljuks. The Anatolian branch also took Syria from the Fatimids, so uh, that is how Sicily became independent, and afterwards the Catholics managed to just beat up the independent Sicily, and uh, the remaining Fatimids aren't looking too great anymore. As for the last ruler we looked at, that was Yahya. He was uh, the strange and uh, his son never made it past the age of one and despite having 13 children total he uh, never managed to get a second son. So the uh, kingdom of Yemen or the Sultanate of Yemen passed to his nephew, the son of the uh, Sultan of Africa. He became Sultan of Africa because, uh, well, he asked us to press his claim and uh, I didn't feel like losing that 10 prestige. And uh, yeah, we made him Sultan of Africa and then his nephew, Sultan of Africa, inherited all this. So good for him. We also tried to uh, build holdings in every single slot in Yemen. This almost succeeded. Well, we did succeed for a little bit, but then Aden got a extra slot from its crown focus uh, which is also why we are horribly bankrupt right now and they also got a uh, scholars foundation so it's been pretty good for Aden except for the whole ruler being bankrupt thing and uh, it even has a really nice hospital with almost all the upgrades and lastly in this region we also have a uh, mosque being built in Taiz named after our initial uh, ruler the Queen Arba Mosque it is currently about halfway to stage two and it has two features. So one day it will be a magnificent mosque. However, we are not going to see that day as we will abandon this campaign here as we have completed our challenges. I hope you have enjoyed watching Yemen grow to greatness. And if you want to view more videos like this, then of course make sure to subscribe so that you will be notified when our next video is up, which will be with a Norwegian ruler. I believe we are taking England. Anyway, until then, have a great time.